Aguirre Jayanti. So wonderful day. Hi Aguirre, as you know, it's a Mahavishnu avatar. He would be saying level as Mahasaraswati. He's a wisdom god and uh, grants us uh, highest level of wisdom. And yesterday was a wonderful day. On your behalf, I went to the bank and borrowed $3.5 million. So now she has given us permission to build a wonderful house. She will build it, we will just spend it. And that will be the most magnificent temple you have ever seen with 33 Sanidana. Very unusual aspects of Divine Mother. So many of them she has designed. And for us to be able to go to her house and worship her in so many forms, many of which you may not even know which aspect of her is. But the important point is, she said, this is a certain time. The world is going to face many major crises in the past, in the next uh, couple of decades. But she will, and her aspects, her reaction is, her movies, her Vyadras, her Kandarvas, all the super sensuous energy of her will protect the world. Not only for us, this is for the world. And the world is in far many crisis. Some of it you see, some of it you don't see, but you don't. And you can be as assured with her grace, we will survive. The world will go through major crises, there will be many tragedies, but we will survive because of her grace. Because she has said, I build the house the way I design, and I and millions and millions of my cosmic aspects to be there to protect the world. And that's what she's doing. So yesterday was a very auspicious day. I made myself a big debtor. In the process, I put you also in the same situation. That is the highest honor you can get to be a debtor on behalf of the world. It's impossible to, to get that position where you can go and borrow on behalf of her. Because this is going to happen. Rarely, one in a brilliant chance, you will be blessed to be able to be in a situation where we will do that. And then the world will benefit. Ultimately, the beneficiary is the world. And all the devotees who would connect to Mahamayi, Ali, Parashakti, Karma, and Nika. And the connection will be established, and your soul will benefit forever. I said forever, because nothing is forever except this. This is forever, because she is eternal. Atman in us, which is a part of her, is also eternal. The rest of it is very transient. That's why we call them Asuddha, are uh, not real, unreal. Anything else is unreal. Anything which disappears, which has a sharp term survival, is unreal. A real thing will exist forever and will always be there. And only in reality is a spark of her which exists in us as Atma. The oscillating thing, size as a thumb, thumb to the left of the midline, it oscillates. And that is part of her. That is eternal. So when I'm gone, when you are gone, the only thing which will exist is that vibrating Atman, which will keep on evolving, ultimately join her. That is the purpose of us being here. The mind, body, intellect, the ego, this, this thing you see, is temporary. I use it to elevate myself and elevate us. So yesterday in act, it's a very, very precious act. Uh, as far as I know, no one gets that uh, blessing to be able to borrow on her behalf because this is borrowed for the house she's building, but we need to spend. So yesterday when I went to the bank, long way from here, Mandro Machine, your bank there, gave us $3.4 million. So I went and signed all the papers. And I felt very proud. I think this is one of the few times when a person who goes becomes a debtor, a borrower, feels very proud. And this is a very proud moment. 
for all of you because I borrow a new bed and you're going to pay it. Not open is going to pay it. She's going to pay. even a dollar you give, that goes towards that. How much is your ability and your privilege? Whatever she wishes for you, you would uh, participate. But even a dollar, ten dollars, whatever. But whatever that is, that is going to pay that debt. It'll take maybe three, four years. I hopefully, I think once we complete the temple, it'll be so magnificent. People from all over will come and want to participate, be a part of the temple. Be a part means become a part. That means you contributed. You contributed your soul. You contributed some money because money is needed. So in that sense, whatever you give, nothing is small. Even a dollar is something from your deep from your heart. You give, then you connect to Mahamaya. And she is the only reality. The rest of it is a short-term investment. I and you, we won't be here 30, 40, 50 years from now. But this investment will be here forever. And our soul will be so pleased and to benefit. And your forefathers, your progeny, your children, grandchildren, all of them will benefit from the dana, dana. That's a nice word. Dana and dana should go together. Da, dana without dana is useless. It's dead. It's insentient. So dana has to go with dana. And dana to whom, to where, dana of something very significant. What is more significant? Our Paramatma. And a place where people can come and connect to Paramatma. She is everything. She was the only thing which existed. She created, she created as I was there in Himalayas, visiting the place called Gauri Kun, where she meditated. That's why Gauri, Maha Gauri is called Maha Tapasya. So she had to do Tapasya to create us, to write our story. How many stories she wrote? Trillion, trillion. Human beings alone is seven billion. There are insects and so many life forms. For every life form, she wrote that script and gave a chance to that life, life form to be able to act out that story. In that process of acting out is the evolution. That's what makes us go higher uh, in a cosmic scale. In the Earth, we are the highest form, but there are other uh, planets, other solar systems their universes. So we keep going higher and higher. Ultimately, our level of consciousness. The higher level of consciousness, you understand better. Higher we are today is symbolic of Mahavishnu aspect of Mahasaraswati. The story is strange. The devas are very jealous of him and they want to hurt him. So accidentally his head was cut off from the bow which broke. And then so immediately they had to replace the head. Why did they replace it with horse? Horse is symbolic of mind. Cow is symbolic of Atman. This is a mind, intense mind he is, most intense mind. So they gave the horse's head. Symbolism again. That's the most intense mind. And mind is most important thing. Today is a full moon. You think of uh, mind, mind and moon is symbolic. Uh, because without mind, nothing is perceivable. And if you don't perceive any of it, nothing exists. You have to perceive. To perceive, you need mind. That is why mind is very important. On a full moon day, you think of moon. And moon is mother. She is mother's aspect. So the titties are very important. Today is a wonderful city. On this day, he manifests. He always existed. There's nothing like a birthday or a Hagiwa. Like Divine Mother. She always existed. Every aspect of Tirumurti is her part of part of her. She divides and gives three functions to her. And the three functions become Tirumurti. And one function is to Mahavishnu to sustain. And this story came from that. So 
So Ayagriva was uh, created for intense thinking. So he would be like Mahasaraswati in a male aspect. So Ayagriva is a very important lady. On this day you think of him. And that stimulates your mind, your wisdom, your deep thought process, however deep we can go. That aspect he stimulates. It's like Mahasaraswati grants you the wisdom, all the deepest wisdom she grants. But it's still considered as Asuta. Any information you can get in the world is Asuta, impure. Why they consider it a Sutta? Because it's not divine. It's still human, human thought process. Anything human, they consider as a Sutta. Cannot be pure. The pure thing can only come from her or through Hayagriva as her aspect. Hayagriva, as you know, is a teacher of Kartikeya, Agastya, Maharishi, standing there, Loba Putra. So all this million, million intermediaries through them, she manifests. There's only one divine, pure consciousness. That's what she is. And she manifests into Tirumurti. And Tirumurti is manifest into million, million of devas and devatas. And asuras. They all come from her. Because asuras are as important as devas. Without them, there won't be devas. Without them, we would not have a reason to be here. There won't be any purpose if you don't have the challenge from devas and the suras and we grow and we activate the devic aspect and we suppress the asuric aspect. That drama is life. Without that actors, we don't have we don't have a purpose and we would not exist. So we have to be thankful to all the actors, all the devatas, all the devas, even the suras that they are doing a function. Without that asuric aspect, which you, which you be ignorance. Ignorance will be the first astra. And when you're born, you're born with ignorance. We overcome that by the grace of Ganesha, by activating our Kundalini. And that creates Gnosis, the wisdom, to see the reality. And once you see it, then you get many questions answered. Who you are, where you came from, why you are here, where do you go from here? These are all fundamental questions. You should be asking this. And about death itself, you should ask, what is death and what happens after that? All those things. Hayagriva, which is highest wisdom, who grant you. He gave it to Kartikeya, he gave it to the Tetriya, wonderful, wonderful aspect of mother. He gave lots of information. So today, if you think of Hayagriva, it is Hayagriva. Jayanti. Thinking of uh, certain devas on certain days, on certain cities are very important. You can think of them any time, but on that city, on that day, in the cosmic uh, scale, it touches you. Because you have a million, million aspects, million, million cosmic energy. You got specifically touched that cosmic energy. So today is Hayatru. So we did a wonderful Homa. He gave us uh, the privilege of doing it. All this is a privilege. Like yesterday, five hours I spent in the bank signing so many, so many papers. <laughs> the Sahara is paying the $3.5 million loan, I think. The detail thing we had to go through. So essentially, I made you a debtor. That's the greatest privilege, and I'm a debtor. And debtor for Divine Mother is the highest honor anyone can ask for, anyone can get to be a debtor. But she is everything. Why would you want to be a debtor? Why would you want to be a no, we did so long, 45 years, we managed without borrowing. But now she wants to do be a wonderful, wonderful temple is being constructed. So we have to move and go and take a loan and we will pay it back. So she will be debt free hopefully in the next four or five years. But at least we we'll have the money to spend to create a magnificent temple, which she will create. And you just do the minor part, paying and doing little work. So participate in it, all of you. You should own this temple. How do you own this temple? By sacrificing 
by becoming a part, volunteer, contribute, supporting. So you become part of the temple. And that uh, uh, gift is eternal. It will go with you forever. There's no end, end to that. But to get that uh, privilege, you have to earn it. And you obviously earned it. Somewhere in eternity, you lived 800,000 lifetimes. Sometime, somewhere, you invoked her. You told her, I want to be with you. Help me to grow up. And she is helping us to grow up. And we are growing up. Meaning, we are thinning out, we are shedding the shell. The density, the dense being we are, we are shedding it with wisdom. And I grew our brands, fundamental wisdom. Ganesha brands, fundamental wisdom. Many, many cosmic aspects. So even though we are born in ignorance, and Maya, which is mother, covers all our memory, it comes back when you grow up, when you thin up, when you become knowledgeable, when the wisdom comes, with the help of all the devatas in this group of alone, there's 520 important devatas. And each one of them uses, grants us a gift. And that will be given when you think of her, come and sit in front of her, and lovingly, with uh, respect, reverence, with a deep affection. And that makes her give that back to you. That is a consumption of a grace. So today is a wonderful day. She has given a great privilege and we thank her and congratulate all of you for coming and participating on this day. Thank you, Nanda.